Hello everyone! Welcome back to UC Star Astrologies. I'm your astrologer Cindy. This is the general horoscope reading for Aquarius, December 2017. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year! Hugs and kisses, and I want to thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please look in the description box below where you can learn through a link what your moon sign and your ascendant sign are so that you can look at all three videos and not just this one, okay? So, um, let's get it on. On the 1st of December, we have Venus entering your 11th house of friendship. Now, you're probably feeling a lot of harmonious feelings towards your friends, wanting to connect. Money is flowing to you um, through your network circle, or, or just money is flowing to you, and um, your wishes in regards to love and luxury could be coming true, uh, because this is the house of wishes, and so if you're single, maybe you are finally getting your wish come true with the person that you want to hook up with or want to have a date with or um, this is really good. Now, <laughs> the only thing is it's just, it's just like so unfair because on the 3rd of December Mercury goes retrograde and we also had Mercury um, shadow period before Mercury went retrograde. So you probably already felt Perhaps someone from your past, a friend from your past, or someone, some kind of connection, someone who was your friend from the past, maybe you bump into them, and because there was like some pause period between the two of you, um, that they see you more um, in a different light and no longer um, a, just a friend. They see you like, ooh, you've grown up, and you're like, ooh la la, you're looking sexy, mama, and let's be more than just friends, and you may get your flirt on with this person who used to be your friend, who used to just be um, a platonic friend, and you get that chance to get your flirt on with them. And so everything could be like high and dandy, and the Christmas spirits are up, and, and it could be really wonderful feeling. But then as soon as Mercury goes forward, like around the 22nd, 23rd of December, depending on where you live in the world, um, you may be feeling like something went wrong. Maybe you had some kind of misunderstandings in regards to philosophy or roots or politics and you think you're really not on the same wavelength with them and things can then come to an end. Or it could be that the person just came into town and was just like a, you know, a winter fling, you can't say summer fling, but it was just the winter fling and, and they were just in, maybe um, that is also very possible, just they were momentarily here and then they had to go back. Um, it could also be that it is someone from your, um, someone with who you are um, connected with in regards to a network circle or a, a pyramid scheme or so and, and they come in because they're a salesman and they come in for a while to sell you something and um, and then you just hook up. Another thing that could happen here is that friends could try to sell you something and it's not a good time to buy, you, you, you're just, it's not a good time to to get into pyramid schemes with friends, okay, with Mercury going retrograde, so it, Mercury is about salesmanship, okay, miscommunications, so it could be that a friend tries to, and especially Aquarians, Aquarians um, um, are into, like to get into uh, pyramid schemes, um, in the beginning Aquarians may say, I don't like such things, but the older you are, the more you get in, into such things um, where you're using your network circle to gain money in some way, fashion, or form, okay? But uh, you could have uh, someone trying to sell you something or you trying to sell them, and, and your presentation and how you're trying to do it 
it is like a, a fail, like a sales fail. <laughs> if you're not getting sales fails here, you're getting flirt fails with your friends, okay? Um, or, or, or wanting to be harmoniously happy, you know, telling jokes, and that joke somehow comes out the wrong way. So it's not a good time to go out drinking with Venus here, definitely wanting you to have some fun and party with the, with your friends, and 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 um, you may come head to head uh, with a person because you're drunk and 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 there's a lot of miscommunication because Mercury going retrograde is having to do Mercury affects our brain and our being confusion when it goes retrograde, so. That confusion feeling could come across with Venus there it could be because you're drinking too much, okay? And um, so you don't want to burn any bridges. Watch out with what you say. Now, we have on the 18th of December a new moon in your 11th house. So you could possibly be losing a friend if you burn those bridges, okay? You could possibly be losing a friend. You don't want to do that. Um, so we have, um, yes, the full moon on the, on the 3rd of December in your fifth house. This is, um, definitely giving you uh, the ability to communicate and to get your flirt on and to, and to make dates happen if you're single. You're definitely able to to make that happen if you are already married or so you're wanting to party you wanting to have fun you're wanting to just do the Christmas thing all around going to see the Nutcracker what have you and just have lots of Christmas fun Christmas parties um, so with this full moon in the beginning of, of the month you're probably wanting to be very festive and wanting to be part of parties or make one yourself. Um, on the 9th of December, Mars enters Scorpio. This is really, really good for your career house. He's going to be in here uh, motivating you to climb up the ladder, to present yourself. It's really good for your reputation. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, um, to look good in the eyes of your boss, you're going to be very motivated to make career happen for you. Um, or this could also mean that your your marital spouse is being very blessed in their um, career. Okay, on the 20th of December, Saturn enters Capricorn. So I say this for last because. Um, this is going to be in your 12th house. Saturn, when in your 12th house, it's the best time to really look very deep, deep, deep about all the things in your life that really is not resonating for your highest good. You want to do this the next two years is try to clean up your whole life before Capricorn enters Aquarius in two years because when he enters Aquarius, and if you don't got your life up to snuff, and if you're walking on the wrong path, and if you are in denial about what is for your highest good, when he enters your house, and if your son is here, you could go to depression, you can lose lots of friends, you can lose a lot of things if you have been um, um, indecent or not right or... Um, you can lose a lot of friends and your connections and who you are and not knowing who you are because Aquarians tend to, um, if your son is here, you tend to identify yourself by the friends you hang out with. And when they, when, when you have to say goodbye to some of your friends and a lot of them, then you can go through a really major um, sadness time. But if you allow yourself to be... Um, changed spiritually while Saturn is here, then um, when he goes into your house, he will just bring lots of spiritual older people that will guide you on your way. It'll be a, a higher 
vibrational feeling and not as hard and will only remove those people who are not for your highest good and you will feel some relief that they're gone out of your life okay so try the next two years to really look deep within yourself um, to make um, your life much easier when Saturn enters Aquarius in two years from now now, the only thing is when Saturn goes into your 12th house, it has to do with other dimensions. And so it is the house that has to do with your sleeping, okay? Saturn tends to make it difficult for you to be able to fall asleep. So you, you're going to want to try to, um, you're going to want to try to do things that, calm you down no drinking coffee you might have to let go of coffee okay um, you don't want to start doing any kind of uh, sleeping pills or things to help you go to sleep that won't be good for your body because when Saturn goes into your first house <laughs> that's when you and, and you did two years of drinking sleeping pills so you can sleep because Capricorn was in your 12th house when he goes into your first house then your body is going to Saturn is going to say, time to clean this up from detox, but he's going to rough you up in the hardest physical way to wake you up that you need to do something. So you don't want to do that, okay? You don't want to hurt your body um, by trying to take sleeping pills so that you can fall asleep. Because Saturn doesn't make it easy for you to fall asleep, but the, the best thing that Saturn is good is, is to, to make you... Um, Saturn is a spiritual house, and he does like it in Capricorn. So that is one thing that's really, really good. So this, this, in this could be where you have a chance to start working, and because you're working, you may be having to work really late hours, and and then not being able to sleep at night. But you should then try to um, find ways or or um herbs to help you relax and to fall asleep like um like hemp tea you know you don't you shouldn't smoke it you should drink it you should try to put it in your smoothies to calm you down and to bring your your delta waves in, you know to help you fall asleep okay your brain waves to to learn how to deal with um making yourself relaxed okay um let's see what else i think i went through aquarius pretty fast um mars in your 10th house i already shared that this is okay now on the 9th of december when mars goes into scorpio another thing that could happen here is um in your 10th house if you are single this is also there could be like a sexual chemistry feeling between you and someone that you're working with um, you definitely Mars is very strong on the top of your of, of your chart um, and and the the energy to for sexual tension with someone in your career or even with your boss or um, higher officials that have to do with government or so there's could be some chemistry there some sexual tension um, but definitely very good for um, your um, you may be you may be having to, to deal a whole lot more with higher authorities or um, with your in-laws even having to to meet with your in-laws um, but but your reputation being very very good in the eyes of your in-laws so, you know and that doesn't help I mean that doesn't always that's not always the case I mean to say when it comes to in-laws usually they're they not everyone gets along with their in-laws because they, they feel like you stole their their child away and what do you know about their little mousy that they grew up in and then they raised and so, <laughs> um, this could, Mars in Scorpio here in your 10th house could really help, you know, that 
your reputation is really good in the eyes of your in-laws. Okay. Um, and that money is could be flowing to you through government resources as well, or you're getting an extra bonus from the boss. Also very possible, very good to ask for that raise or for ask for that Christmas bonus or something extra from your boss. Um, yeah, so that was the general horoscope reading for Aquarius. I hope I shared enough. Um, yes, uh, now, I think I shared enough, that was about it, okay, hugs and kisses, my dear Aquarians, happy, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, and don't forget to look in the description box below so you can find out what your sun and moon or ascendant signs are, okay? Till next time, then look at all three videos, okay? Bye!